Welcome to GardenWise Adventures. My name is Malie, and today is video number 15 of our Beginner Gardener series. Now we have a special guest here today. This is Gigi, and Gigi will probably end up being in more of my videos because we're grieving the loss of his brother, Kalsfer, who died on Saturday night as I was uploading the last video. He was, he was healthy and happy and begging for tummy rubs and begging for kitty treats. Gave him his last kitty treats. He took a drink, climbed up on the table next to me to lay down and wait for bedtime like he usually does. And he was gone in a minute. It, it was very quick and very sudden. The vet thinks it was probably some sort of heart condition, but it was very painless and very quick. But little Gigi is now very lonely and very and very confused about where his brother is, so I don't want to shut the door and exclude him. He is also less apt to get into things than his brother was, so I think that we can leave the door open and allow him in here while I'm filming. So if I am so if I'm looking a little off today, that's what it is. We're missing we're missing calcifer. So now let me pull myself back together and let's talk about peppers. So today is the day that we're going to start planting some hot peppers. Now I am not a hot pepper lover. I like sweet peppers and it's only been recently that I like sweet peppers so I haven't grown them very often. But I am going to be running ex an experiment with my brother. My brother really really loves hot peppers and for years he's wanted to grow hot peppers with me and we decided this year is going to be it. And since we have waited so long to be able to plant hot peppers we've gone a little bit crazy and I think we have about 30 varieties of peppers, both of sweet and hot that we're gonna be planting. Now my brother was gonna be with me here today with the seeds that he's purchased, but he was sick and he wasn't able to be here. So we're gonna plant the ones that I have and then we'll do a second video with the ones that he has. But first, let's talk a little bit about pepper species. Now there are five different pepper species and all of the information that I'm gonna be giving you today is off of a, a, one of the Pepper Geek videos and I will link that down below and, and up above. So in that video he discussed the five different species and we're going to be planting peppers from three of those species. So the first one is the one that most people are familiar with and that's Capsicum annuum. And that species originates out of South America and is for the heat index which is called Scovilles. So Scovilles kind of counts how hot a pepper is. Capsicum annuum can go anywhere from zero to 50,000 Scoville units. Now they're a mid-sized pepper and a lot of the most pe popular pepper varieties are in that species. Jalapeno, bell peppers, cayenne, and serrano are all part of the capsaicum annuum species. When you look at that species and think about days to harvest, it's the one that has the shortest amount of time between plant transplanting and days of harvest. And that's usually about 90 to 110 days. So we're going to be planting some of the capsaicum annuum species today, but most of them we're going to wait another four weeks and plant them later. So right now it's the end of February and what I want to do is plant the species that takes a little bit longer from transplant to harvest because I want to be able to give them time to ripen so that we can harvest them. So one of the species that we're going to be planting that takes a long time from transplant to harvest is the capsaicum bicatum. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly but I'll put the species name on the screen. Now Capsaicum bicatum contains some of the more fun chili peppers. They originate in Central and South America and range anywhere from 10,000 to 75,000 Scoville units. They're a little bit larger of a pepper and their days to harvest are anywhere from 110 to 120 days. So we are definitely gonna be planting all of the peppers in that species today. Now the ones that we're gonna be planting in that species the one I'm most excited about is Sugar Rush Peach. Now I'm excited about this one because they say the flavor is really good. Now it's really hot, so I'll probably make a hot sauce out of this and then taste a little bit of it for myself and give it away because I really don't do hot peppers. But I'm excited to see what it tastes like. Another large member of that species are the ahi peppers. And this is ahi panka. Now it is not as hot as supposedly not as hot as some of the other ahi peppers, but we're going to try that one and see how it is. Now the next species that we're going to move on to is Capsaicin chinense. Now Capsaicin chinense sounds like it would be from China, but it is not from China. It's another one that's from South America and possibly the Caribbean. So this species contains some of the hottest peppers. It can go up to 2 million Scoville. So some of the ones that you know are the ghost peppers. 
So one of the varieties that we're going to be growing from this species is the chocolate butla. Now I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is a cross from one of the hottest peppers. It, what used to be counted as one of the hottest peppers in the world. It's a cross between the Butte Jalokia and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'll put the name on the screen and another hot pepper. And uh, supposedly it's a chocolate brown pepper that's extremely, extremely hot. Now I am not going to be trying that pepper, but my brother has decided he wants to try it. Some of the other peppers that are in that species are the habanero. And just so that I can have one for me that has the flavor of the habanero, but doesn't have the heat, we're going to grow a habanada. So we're going to try this one out and see how it tastes. So now we're not going to be growing any peppers from the next two species that we're going to talk about. But the fourth species of which we're not going to grow anything from is Capsaicin frutense. Sorry about the cat, but he's very cute though. <laughs> Here, cat butt down. Now Capsaicin frutensis, frutensis is from South America. Its Scoville units range anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 and they have a shorter days to harvest between transplant and harvest and that is usually between 90 and 110. Now one of the most popular varieties out of the Capsaicin frutensis species is Tabasco. Now the last species that we're going to talk about is Capsaicin pubescens, which means little hairs. Now this variety is from Bolivia and Peru, and it, its Scoville units go anywhere from 20,000 to 100,000. So now that we've discussed pepper species, let's look at the varieties that I'm going to be growing and show you the ones that I already have growing. So before we show you the seeds that we're going to plant today, let's show you the, the seeds that we planted in January. Now these are sweet pepper seeds. This beautiful one right here that's developing a gorgeous pepper that's almost ripe is an antohi. We've got more flowers on it. This one's a doe hill. We've got another green one there. We've harvested several peppers off of that one. There's another antohi and another doe hill. Now we're not getting a ton of peppers off of these and I'm assuming it's because we have them under these regular uh, Walmart shop lights and I'll link a video up at the top that talks about the lights that I use. These may need a little bit stronger light to produce more peppers, or it may have just been because I've transplanted them because they were started out in really poor soil. And I'll link another video on top that shows you what happened with that. But you can grow peppers indoors, and I'm planning on planting these, you know, if I can keep them alive, I'll plant them outside probably in June. And this is mid-February, so they've got a lot of time that they'll be growing indoors but I have them in two gallon pots, so they should be okay. So now let's go over the peppers that we're gonna be starting by seed. So the first one is Sugar Rush Peach. We talked about that one. That's the cap Capsaicin Bacatum, if, I pr if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Another one is a Capsaicin Annuum, which is the Aleppo. This is the, cap this is the Capsaicin Chinese and the Habanata. We did talk about that one. It has no heat, but it's supposed to taste like the Habanero. We talked about the chocolate butla, which is a chinense. This is the hatch lumbre, which is a, another annuum. We've got the berry berry coffee brown, which is an annuum. Picante calabrese, and I think this is also an annuum. Hangliao supernova. Now this one's interesting. We got this one from Pippi Seeds. This is also an annuum, but it was sent, I think the peppers that the seeds came from were sent out into space. So you know, or maybe the pepper that it was developed from was sent out into space. So my brother thought that would be an interesting one to try. This is another Chinese, Griff 9238. Scarlet's Chili, another annuum. Another annuum, the Hawaiian Sweet Red, but it's not sweet. It's supposed to be really hot. Fidalga Roxa, this is another Chinese. Then from Pepper Joe's, we've got their Super Hot, hot Mix. Another Chinese, Bequino Iramaceae, and then the Aji Panka, which is another Chinese. So, so now that we've seen the seeds that we're going to start and the ones that we've already started, I was going to show you how to plant the, the pepper seeds, but let me show you kind of what happened.
Sweet little Gigi there was really, really needy. And I forgot to turn on the camera when I did the planting. So we're just kind of go over a little bit what I did for planting. If you want to see how to plant seeds, you can reference video number 13 in this series, or you can wait until my brother gets here, which would be, I think, next week. And we're going to be planting a few more peppers. But let me, I'll just go over what I used to plant this. So this is a regular seed starting mix. Seed starting mix is better than regular potting soil because it's a finer mix and it makes it easier for the seeds to come up. If you want to make your own seed starting mix, you can use peat moss and perlite or coco core and perlite and then strain it to get all of the larger chunks out so it's a finer mix. So we planted the peppers a quarter inch deep in these Epic Gardener four cell pots. Now I like these because these are four inches deep. They have three inch deep ones and four inch deep ones. Now these are deep enough that the peppers can stay in these for quite a while. Now I needed those to stay in those pots for a while because mid-March is when I'm going to be getting rid of all of these basil plants. These basil plants are for some other project, but I need that space for the pepper plants. This is also to help me limit the amount of peppers I grow. I, if I use this, if I use the six cell pots like the ones over there, I really tend to overplant. I only need, really truly need one of each of these pepper plants. So what I did is now, of course, I planted four of each. I planted two seeds in each cell. So there's two in this one and two of this one. So we label them so we know which seeds are in each pot. So we've got two in here and two in here. And that's just for insurance so that I can make sure that I'm going to get at least one plant. So if I'm a good girl and do what I'm supposed to do, what I will do is pull out one out of each of these cells if we get two that germinate. And then we'll just have two plants left and then I can donate one either or send one to my brother's place to grow and keep one for myself. Now what we have on top of this is vermiculite. We have the vermiculite in that little baggie there. And vermiculite helps avoid damping off and it also helps retain moisture. So we covered each one of the pots in vermiculite after we finished planting them. And now we're going to put the humidity dome over the tray. Now the humidity dome is going to obviously keep up the humidity. It's gonna keep the warmth in these pots and it's going to keep the moisture in there. So let's, so let's take you over and show you where we're gonna put these. So these are where we put these little seedlings. We put them under lights, even though they don't need to be under lights yet. They don't need to be under lights until they germinate. Now I like to put them under lights mainly because I don't want to miss their germination. If you miss it by even a few hours, they can get tall and leggy. Now the last thing that I wanted to show you is that I put these peppers on a heat mat. Now this is just a single heat mat. We have a large heat mat down at the bottom here that's, that these plants are utilizing but I also have heat mats that just fit single trays. This is plugged down here into my surge protector that's on a timer, but one of the sides on the surge protector is not on a timer. We don't want the heat going off at night, so we need to, so we need to keep this humidity mat on until all of the seeds are germinated. So that is it when it comes to planting seeds. Definitely know your species so you can know how early you need to start them. So the Chinense and the Bacatum, I think that's how you pronounce it, Bacatum, Bacatum, they need a longer amount of time to ripen so that you need to start the seeds a little bit earlier, especially if you live in cool climates. Now, if you live in warm climates, some of these peppers can actually be perennial. You can leave them in the garden, cut them back, and they will continue to grow the next season. But here in my area, I'm in Utah zone six slash seven, and the winter will definitely kill them. So I either need to plant them in pots and bring them inside, or I need to plant them really early in pots keep moving them up in size and we'll do that together and that will give them more of a chance to ripen. So I would love to hear what peppers you're growing and when you start yours and hopefully this video has been helpful. I hope you like, subscribe, share them with your friends and go have a wonderful garden adventure. You are so not helpful. You're so cute and so not helpful. Yes, you are. And you're truly.